Hello Tai Chiers, my name is Matt Holker and I work together with Master Tai Chi Master Richard Clear and together we help Tai Chi students and teachers all over the world to rapidly develop internal power for self-defense and health. And <clears throat> I've been talking a lot, if you've been following my stuff and, and even Sifu Clear has been, we've, we've both been talking a lot about um, what Tai Chi is, what Tai Chi requires, um, and even some uh, how, how to do Tai Chi, how to start Tai Chi, and what we've not talked a lot about is why you would want to do Tai Chi. And so for us, that's sort of a given. Um, you know, we have two reasons why we want to do Tai Chi, which is self-defense and health. But there's a lot of things um, within those two, you know, within, within the sort of the, the dichotomy of self-defense and health, there's a lot of other reasons sort of within those two why to do Tai Chi. Um, and so uh, more on, on the health side I want to talk about today. Um, and so there's a lot of reasons um, for, we've already talked some about better balance, better posture, um, better relaxation, because better balance and better posture allow you to relax more and deeper and, uh, and wash away stress and melt it out through the body, um, which is you know extremely important for Tai Chi for both health and internal power. Um, the, uh, the ability to, um, to open and close the joints, to move, you know, to move every joint everywhere and to know that you've done it, that, uh, that alone is extremely powerful in Tai Chi. And the, the ability to put whole body power into a wide range of different kinds of motions um, is, is an extremely potent benefit of Tai Chi that is, it's a self-defense benefit, but it's also a health benefit. Most of us are never going to be in a fight, but if you have internal strength and internal connection in that way where you can generate If you have internal strength and internal connection in that way where you can generate whole body power, what that means is that you're less prone to... If you have that whole body power, that, that internal integrity, that internal connection that allows you to generate whole body power, what that means is that you're less prone to internal injury under impact. It's a, it's a form of internal um, iron. Um, and there are other forms of it, and we teach other forms of it in Clear Tai Chi, but, um, but that's beside the point. The, the point is that these things are all very healthy for you. Um, they're not only good for you martially, they're really, really good for you long-term uh, for your health, for your longevity. And, um, and it's, it's really important to think about that because the old masters were absolutely thinking about that. They were trying to find ways to train solid, martial arts with a lot of power and a lot of juice to them that had real self-defense application for real world fighting, but that didn't wear out your body and didn't grind you up in the training and actually was even pretty gentle on you during a real fight. Um, and so they sought these really healthy postures that are very natural um, to, to move through. And so there's all these different ways that that benefits you. Now there's some other ways that are maybe not so, so there's a bunch of kind of physical ways and we've talked a lot about that. There's some other ways that Tai Chi benefits you that are maybe not so intuitive as to why it works that way. There's a lot of cognitive benefits to Tai Chi and there's a lot of research indicating that it's really healthy for certain types of disorders like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And, there, and, and there's a lot of cognitive benefits to doing Tai Chi as well. And it may not be so obvious why that is, but Tai Chi, if you're really doing the form right and you're using push hands as a part of it and you're following basically an, an outline at least similar to what we kind of recommend in Clear Tai Chi, if you're really following a good curriculum, in other words, you will be using push hands to sort of inform your body and you'll be using what you learn from the push hands in your form in a wide range of different motions, of different movements. And so you're incorporating all of these all of these health benefits that you get from doing the Tai Chi into your everyday life. Um, and so and what, what ends up happening when you do that enough is that you sort of bridge, there's a body-mind connection, and you can sort of bridge that gap. You can sync your mind up with your body by using these kind of big movements and the, the form and on all of the different positions and all the different motions and all of that stuff. And you sync up your mind into those motions and then once, that's, once that bridge has been really, really, really well established that way from the physical to the mental, then you can turn that around and you can use that mental 
feeling that 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 feeling of the energy movement in your body and through your body and all of that you can use that to power your body and to fuel your actions on the other side um, the other really incredible thing that does by the way if you found any of this helpful um, you're gonna love what you find at Tai Chi made clear .com, so please check that out the other really important thing about this um, I want to I, I want to talk a little bit about Sifu clears personal story because um, you know you've uh, you've probably seen some about that at this point um, uh, about two and a half years ago he broke his back in four places sledding down a hill and what he thought was a little like jump at the end turned out to be a ditch and it, and it, it was basically like hitting a wall and the hill was very very steep um, the best estimates are that he was going at somewhere between 40 and 45 miles an hour when he collided with the bottom of this thing at full force full speed and it did fracture four of his vertebrae but he didn't need surgery he was in a brace for a while while he was recovering to make sure but he didn't need any surgery and he didn't um, he didn't injure any of the discs in between the vertebrae he was good he didn't injure his legs he didn't injure any of soft tissue he was good for all of that because he had been doing the Tai Chi and so that's the other lesson I want to give you about this is that the way Tai Chi works is it works okay for healing yourself up after the fact if you get all busted up then you know you might need the Tai Chi and we have a lot of students that come to us that way and if you're in that condition you're in that condition and that's fine there's nothing you can do about it but ideally you start the Tai Chi before you're all busted up and then it works as a preventative if Sifu Clear had not been doing the Tai Chi for as long as he has been doing it, and not been focused on internal power as long as he has been and building those internal connections that way so that he could be strong for that kind of impact it'd be a different story he'd be looking at probably paralysis or death and there's only so much that you know that Tai Chi can do for you for paralysis and there's nothing you know <laughs> nothing physically it can do for you for for uh, for the, the death one um, and so it's too late for the Tai Chi at that point the the main reason um, that he made it through the way he did is that he did the Tai Chi before he really needed it and so that's the the ultimate lesson that I kind of want to want you to walk away from if you learn nothing else from today's clip if you take nothing else away from it is that start it's it should be start the Tai Chi before you think you need it um, and and learn as much about how the Tai Chi works for things like arthritis um, and uh, and you know even uh, Parkinson's and uh, and Alzheimer's and cognitive disorders and things that you don't have yet or um, you know aren't dealing with yet or maybe even your students aren't dealing with yet learn about those different things because the more you learn about those things the more you understand how Tai Chi really works for health on all its levels and the more likely you are to actually be able to use it for real to like survive a crash um, you know most of us won't actually get into a real life or death fight in our lives and, and you know some of us will but m most of us won't statistically most people will go their whole lives and never be in a real fight like that but you might be in a car crash you might you know be on the wrong hill and and crash into the bottom the, the wrong speed and that kind of stuff um, you know you never know when those kinds of impacts and from those kinds of accidents could happen and the Tai Chi if you've been doing it before that is great for allowing you to wash it out absorb it um, be strong for it, but in, and internally connected so that you, so that it doesn't really land in you. And if it does land in you, that it does it as as minimally as it possibly can. Um, you know, it, it broke his back in four places, but the vertebrae easily, the way that they were cracked, they could have shattered. Um, but he his whatever little bit of, of bone marrow there is, and that kind of kind of uh, puffier material, that that kind of more gelatinous material that's in the inside of bones. Whatever, whatever little bit is in vertebrae, his is so strong and healthy and pulpy that it held the hard part of the bones that had cracked together. Um, and so it allowed him to go without even having to have surgery where a lot of people it would have shattered and maybe other things would have ensued. And so, um, uh, so again, if you found any of this helpful, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for, uh, for bearing with me here um, as I kind of uh, talk about the health benefits of Tai Chi and why to do Tai Chi and kind of how to get the most out of your out of the healthy parts of Tai Chi for whatever you're trying to get out of the health benefits. If it's better balance, better blood pressure, better cognition, um, better whatever, the way to, the primary way to, to get those things, the best way, if you can, if you're in the position to do it, is start Tai Chi before you need it for those things. Um, and, then, and then and then it's a lot easier. Uh, it's a lot easier to use it as a preventative. And if 
for some reason you develop those conditions, um, it's so much easier to apply the Tai Chi to help with relief for those things if you have started before you develop the symptoms. So, um, so please take that for what it's worth. Again, if you've enjoyed this, head to TaiChiMadeClear.com. I really appreciate you all watching. Uh, more next time. And, uh, and um, uh, uh, again, don't forget TaiChiMadeClear.com. If you, if you like anything you found here, you're going to love what you find over there. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Take care.